top 10 best places in Africa that will give you an unforgettable vacation. Africa may not always register on the average traveler's radar, but those who visit have the chance to experience the perfect blend of ancient and modern, the wild and the urban, east and west. To help you start planning your adventure, Positive Africa ranked the best places to visit in Africa based on accessibility, affordability, and variety of things to do, as well as expert opinions. Note should be made of the fact that some of the destinations listed in this video may be affected by the coronavirus outbreak. It is advisable to always do a thorough check before packing your bags. Starting from the 10th best place all the way to the 1st, the following is a list of the best places to visit in Africa. Number 10, Luxor, Egypt. Cairo's pyramids may steal most of the spotlight, but ancient Egyptian aficionados know not to overlook Luxor. Perhaps the most pressing reason to visit this UNESCO World Heritage City is to tour the Valley of the Kings, where at least 63 ancient pharaohs, including King Tut, are entombed. Many monuments and tombs found here date back to the 14th century BC, including must-see sites like the Temple of Luxor and the Colossi of Memnon. The best times to visit Luxor are from March to April and between October and November. These brief shoulder seasons offer pleasant temperatures, small crowds, and more affordable hotel rates. Luxor's coolest temperatures can be enjoyed in winter, but you'll also find hordes of tourists and high prices during this season. And though you'll snag great hotel deals once summertime rolls around, unbearably hot temperatures make touring Luxor's sites between May and September uncomfortable. Number 9, Malawi. Despite its small size and landlocked location in southeastern Africa, Malawi draws visitors with its gorgeous lake diverse wildlife, and friendly people. At Lake Malawi, Africa's third-largest lake, travelers can enjoy water sports activities like kayaking and sailing, soak up some sun on a white sand beach or dive beneath the lake's surface to look for colorful cichlid fish. The tiny country also features nine national parks and wildlife reserves, making it an excellent, less crowded option for a safari. For the best wildlife viewing, arrive during the dry season, which lasts from April to November. Number 8, Madagascar. Dreaming of a tropical getaway spent lounging on idyllic islands, trekking through verdant rainforests, hiking around jaw-dropping rock formations, and spotting unique wildlife. Then set your sights on Madagascar. Located in the Indian Ocean, about 743 miles east of Mozambique, this African paradise is the fourth largest island in the world. Approximately 19,000 types of plants can be found in the country's 47 national parks and reserves, but its one-of-a-kind animals are the main draw for nature lovers. All of the world's 100-plus lemur species call this island nation home, as do more than 340 kinds of chameleons and a variety of birds. Though you'll likely spend some time in populous areas like Antonarivo, the country's capital, and Nosy Beaver, a small island off the mainland's northwest coast, Madagascar is filled with regions ripe for exploration. The best time to visit Madagascar is from April to October. This dry season brings fewer rain showers, meaning optimal conditions for observing animals, hiking, and participating in water sports activities. Although accommodation rates are higher at this time, properties will be easier to access due to the country's roads being clear. Temperatures will also be more comfortable than they are during the wet season. Number 7, Marrakesh. Like other historic Moroccan cities, Marrakesh buzzes with life, performers vie for your attention in Jamar al Fnar an open-air square in the heart of the Medina of Marrakesh while vendors hawk aromatic spices, homemade textiles, ornate lanterns, and more at the bazaars along the alleyways. When you need a break from the hustle and bustle of the city, unwind at a hammam or head to a bar and relax. During your visit, keep an ear out to hear the striking tones of the nearby mosque's calls to prayer. The best times to visit Marrakesh are from March to May and between September and November. 
These shoulder seasons are known for their desirable weather, with average daytime temps in the low 70s to low 90s, and affordable hotel rates. Number 6, Seychelles. A grouping of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, the Seychelles has long attracted those looking for a truly relaxing getaway. Spend your days lounging on pristine, crowd-free beaches like Ants Volbert and Ants Lazio. Or head deep into the UNESCO World Heritage listed Valley de My Nature Reserve to gaze at its unique flora and fauna. Keep in mind that lodging here is expensive especially at the luxury resorts, so it's best to save up and book in advance. The best times to visit Seychelles are April, May, October, and November. These months represent the transition times between the hot and humid northwest trade winds from November through March, and the cooler southeast trade winds that define April through October. A visit during these shoulder months offers more mild conditions ideal for sunbathing, wildlife watching, and scuba diving. No matter when you visit, you'll encounter temperatures averaging in the 80s. But by frequenting the islands in the spring and fall, you'll also avoid the heavy tourist crowds that descend on the islands in December, January, July, and August. Number 5, Mauritius. Mauritius appeals to vacationers in search of a bit of everything. Though its main draws are its powdery sands and luxe resorts, this small island nation east of Madagascar equally charms visitors with its French colonial architecture, friendly locals, and tasty teas and runs. After a day of exploring and soaking up some sun, retreat to one of the island's premier properties to savor fresh seafood while watching a traditional Sega dance performance or the sunset over the Indian Ocean. Number 4, Zanzibar. Zanzibar offers something for everyone, whether you're in search of beautiful beaches or an unforgettable adventure. After trekking to this Indian Ocean destination off of the eastern coast of Africa, you'll instantly feel at ease as you lounge on quiet beaches like Matemwe and Pongwe. Once you've gotten your fill of the archipelago's beaches, visit Zanzibar City's UNESCO World Heritage listed Stone Town, where you'll find the ruins of a 15th century palace and a graveyard with ties to Zanzibar's former Arab royals. No trip would be complete without taking a spice tour in the countryside and exploring Josanachwaka Bay National Park. The best time to visit Zanzibar is from June to October during the cool, dry months of spring. Another popular time to visit this tropical island is from December to February, when it's hot and dry. Number 3, Victoria Falls. Outdoorsy types travel far and wide to admire this breathtaking UNESCO World Heritage Site. Straddling the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls is roughly twice as deep and wide as Niagara Falls, making it one of the world's most impressive waterfalls. To see the natural wonder at its prime, plan a visit here in April when the area's rainy season has concluded. Popular vantage points include the Knife Edge Bridge, Livingston Island, and Devil's Pool. When you're not enjoying the view from above, go swimming or whitewater rafting in the Zambezi River to admire the fall from different angles. Number 2, Cape Town, South Africa. Sporty, stylish, stunning, sociable. If Cape Town was a person, it would be that Hollywood starlet we all secretly envy. The mother city is unlike any other destination in Africa, separated from the rest of the continent by a ring of mountains, Cape Town stands as a glittering, metropolis juxtaposed with one of the world's most breathtaking natural landscapes. But good looks aren't the only thing Cape Town has going for it. You'll fall in love with this city's khaki-colored beaches, rolling vineyards, sizzling cuisine, thriving nightlife, and of course, the spectacular Table Mountain. It may have taken an international soccer tournament to catch the world's attention, but since Cape Town took the global stage, no amount of buzzing vuvuzelas can drown out its magnificence. Cape Town is by far the most cosmopolitan city in South Africa, as it hosts a hodgepodge of cultures that contributes to the city's eclectic music, food, and festival scenes. But to better appreciate Cape Town as it is now, it's important to understand what the city has experienced. Decades of racial and economic oppression invoked by apartheid have left a festering wound. 
Although many tourists only experience Cape Town's gorgeous beaches and vibrant restaurant scene, those who visit Nelson Mandela's jail cell on Robben Island or peruse the exhibits in the District 6 Museum will see that there's a samba undertone to this otherwise vibrant city. The best times to visit Cape Town are from March to May and from September to November. Number 1. Cairo, Egypt. The desert heat, the noisy streets, and the sheer size of Cairo will leave even the most adaptable traveler with a serious case of culture shock. The constant bombardment of street vendors, the inescapable aroma of livestock, and the seemingly chaotic way of life will joggle the senses. But be patient. Take some time to relax over a cup of tea, to wander the ancient streets, and to watch the sun lower over the mighty Nile River. It won't take long for the city's treasures to reveal themselves. Most visitors flock to Egypt's capital to explore the wonders of the ancient world, following the footsteps of the pharaohs. But there are two sides to Cairo, the city's residents embrace their history and rejoice in their progress. The ancient pyramids of Giza, Dasha, and Saqqara fight with the trendy bars of the Zamalek and Heliopolis neighborhoods for spotlight. Honking taxi cabs vie for space with braying donkeys in the narrow streets. And the traditional Islamic call to prayer, lounge music, and boisterous banter can be heard simultaneously. The only way to get a true sense of Cairo is to take the old with the new. The best times to visit Cairo are from March to April and from October to November. These short shoulder seasons welcome comfortable temperatures, fewer crowds, and low hotel rates on most days of the week. Winter is by far the most popular time to visit Egypt's capital, because the days are warm and sunny, and the evenings are cool and breezy. If you're planning a trip between December and February, you can expect swarms of tourists. You'll find the best deals on hotels during the summer, but for many, battling the heat isn't worth the savings. Now you know. When the coronavirus wave finally gets over, which country or place are diving head down to in this list? Share with us in the comments section, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Positive Africa for more informative and educational videos. Thanks for watching, stay positive and see you in the next video.